Hi guys, Nico from RB Mods here. Just gonna do a quick unpacking on this uh, portable USB monitor we got from AOC. It's uh, actually called E2251FWU. Uh, I still keep claiming that they should make these model names a little bit easier, but I guess that's not gonna happen. Anyways, uh, nice box inside, parts for the stand. Yeah, user guide, more parts for the stand, so it goes something like this, glossy, you can see that it's glossy and I guess the screen is going to be glossy also, so count on some fingerprints and dirt on it, but it looks nice. Double USB port connectors, a single USB connector, a bunch of cardboard. Finally, the screen itself. And as I said before, here in Europe we get loan samples, so I don't know what it's gonna look like, what the previous company has done with them, or what the previous review site has done with them. But you can see those fingerprints in the middle, so somebody's had it before. Um, glossy bezels around. Uh, the back, though, is not glossy. They actually put some texture on it, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Anyways, um, big AOZ log on the back. Part for a stand. You just basically plug it in almost, and it locks up and stands there. And a USB port and a power adapter slot. Uh, as you've noticed, there's a lot of USB going on here. There's a USB screen, and that's kind of what we're gonna aim for in the review. We're gonna look if a USB screen actually can be as good as normal, normal screen running a DVI or a DisplayPort or HDMI, whichever. Because we might get some delays, and that's kind of what I want to figure out if it's possible to get a nice screen, even with USB. You can see it's kind of thin, which is nice. It doesn't weigh much. Um, it doesn't make any noise, any like plastic noise, you know, when you twist, twist the case. Um, so it feels like it's pretty good quality overall. So yeah, looking forward to getting a review done on this, and we should have a review up within a couple of weeks at rbmods.com. See you later.